Hi, my name is Connie Carlson, and today I have the extreme pleasure to be at the Whitlock Inn right here on the Marietta Square with Alexis Amadin, and she is the owner of Whitlock Inn, and she's going to share with us the stories and kind of how this whole thing came about. So welcome to my Marietta. So welcome back. As I said, this is Lexi. You like to go by Lexi, right? Yes, that's great. And we are at the Whitlock Inn. And so the Whitlock Inn, what is the address, first of all? We are right here on the square. Uh, 57 Whitlock is our address. 57 Whitlock. It's yes. uh, I tell people it's across from the Methodist Church. It's that big, white, beautiful house with the big front porch. So it's great. So let's kind of go back a little bit. For those of us who maybe don't know the history, how did this uh, house come about? Do you know? Well, the house was built in 1900, so of course we were not here then, but yeah. we actually moved here to Marietta in the 80s. Your family and, did? Yes. Okay. Two doors down, and this house was run by Cobb County. They're running senior services here, daycare for seniors, yeah. and then it was owned by the city, and then the Cobb County was going to move, and the city put it up for bid to buy it, Yeah. and I think our competition to buy it was the church to tear it down for a parking lot. Really? It was yes. in that bad of shape? It was terrible shape, yes. But your family put a bid in. Yes. For what purpose? What were they thinking? We wanted to run a bed and breakfast, and we were going to do maybe a few weddings here. That's okay. the plan. And then you ended up with the house? Ended up with the house, spent about six, seven months renovating it at full steam. People in every nook and cranny going full steam ahead. And then started in 94. First event was in May of '94, and the weddings just took over. Yeah, the bed and breakfast it's just side altogether. Beautiful. So it's, I'd be curious to know when you bought this house, what what was it like inside compared to how it is now? Dreary, dreary, yeah. rundown. I think everything was painted beige, every single room, and I think we overreacted and went with a lot of colors and floral and just, it was a happy house, but needed cheering up. Yeah. Did, were you able to save a lot of the same, like the light fixtures, were very many of those here? A few were here, but a lot was taken already out of the house, so we had to go and shop. Did you try to get period pieces? We did. We yeah. researched historic wallpapers. And then for fire safety, a lot of the furniture has to be fire dipped and okay. protected. So we were able to get replicas with the right materials. Cool. So I did a little research on your website prior to it being owned by the county. Like this house was, this, well, this property, from what I could tell, was a resort back in the That's late right. 1800s. That's right. It was called the Whitlock House. It was a big resort. I believe the picture shows it's from Wright Street which is the next street over all the way to almost the railroad tracks across the oh, wow. So it was, I think, close to 250 room resort. And yeah. there are some pictures in the History Museum, but it burned down and then they divided into lots. So then the Dodd family purchased the, the house Dobbs family in, if I remember correctly, 1900, 1900 yep. and lived here for 10 years. They mm -hmm. had eight children. Oh, you know more than I do. I, <laughs> <laughs> it was all on our website, though. So. Um, so they had eight children, and then they sold it to another family who sold it to the Dosser family. Yeah, I think it was Dobbs, Smith, Dosser. The Dosser family sold it to the city, and it was a designer show house for a couple of years. Oh. Then the city leased it to the county. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is Mr. Dobbs, who built the house here, and here he is with his three brothers, and it's an interesting story. Out of four brothers, three married, three sisters. And then here is his lovely wife. Up, upper right is their whole family. The Dobbs, the first family to live here. And the house actually looks pretty similar. Yeah, it does. Second family is the Smith family. And these two little kids were the Anderson kids. They're also shown in the Dobbs picture. And then this is Peggy Gosser Benson, third family to live here. What a pretty picture. Yes, and the bandstand on the square is named after her. So your family purchased it. You've made it into a bed and breakfast. Why in the world would you want to own a bed and breakfast? Well, when I was looking at colleges, believe it or not, my parents couldn't go on all the visits with me. So I ended up staying in bed and breakfast because my mom felt it would be safer because she could call and talk to the owner, make sure I got there, and then I'd do my little college visits. Well, 
forget college. I thought that was so yeah. much more cool yeah. to see the bed and breakfast, and I love the honors. I mean, I did go to college, but yeah, I ended up falling in love with bed and breakfast altogether from that. So you you actually started operating this at a pretty young age, right out of college. Yep. Did you live here? I lived in the original carriage house out back. Okay. What's in the carriage house now? A commercial kitchen now. All right. Carriage house catering. Okay. Yes. Carriage house catering. Started Which is right a whole there. nother story. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> another interview. Yeah. So, all right. So you are um, operating this uh, B&B. It's not you're really a and b anymore. I'm not. It's Ever since I had twins, I couldn't keep up the 24-hour business. Right. So what is... Um, your specialty in terms of events like tell me how we how do a are. lot of weddings the house is happy and floral and it suits the romance the romance yes so where do you usually set the weddings up how does that work a lot of weddings are in the gardens out back because we can seat 250 people out there oh wow so we have a couple different spots where girls can pick their weddings and do a lot of garden weddings and then we have a big ballroom so we do indoor weddings too mm -hmm. in, different ca and, and case in case of weather, the weather that's good because you've got like a backup plan yeah. and then for the gala, you actually put a tent out here. Yes, so we have, for the gala, we have a couple different locations where we could put tents on. So, so what's the uh, most unusual event you've ever had? We had a Civil War themed wedding, and that was awfully interesting <laughs> with the hoop skirts and the outfits, it was neat. So Lexi, yes. you own one of the most beautiful historic homes in Marietta. Oh, that's awfully nice. Well, it's very true. It's just, I don't think anybody can drive by here without noticing it. It's just always so pretty. Um, what's it like maintaining a property like this? A lot of painting. Painting and painting and painting. And this morning you had an electrical fire. <laughs> yeah, one of the switches caught on fire. Yeah. So that can happen. So but that was actually one of the new parts of the house, not historic. Well, we don't have any ghosts here, but we did have a horror film shoot here called The Haunting of Hill House. And I believe they brought some ghosts with them. So if I was a bride, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See my ring? Um, no, if I'm a bride and I want to uh, book a wedding here, what yeah. does that process look like? A lot of brides will come and look and see if it's the right fit for their size that they're thinking of guest count and if they like the property, like the old Southern charm, and then they'll book their wedding. How far out in advance do you have to start looking? Most brides, if they want May or June or October, popular months about a year out, okay. and then other months. You hear that guys? Months. At least a year. You got to give them a year. <laughs> <laughs> well that's awesome. So thank you so much for meeting us. Oh you're welcome. This, this property is one of the best landmarks I think in Marietta. So Very kind. thanks for maintaining it and keeping it beautiful because of what you do. You make my Marietta uh, better. Aww. And so I have one last parting question for you. Sure. Um, when you look back on everything you've done uh, with, with the Whitlock Inn and with your profession, what do you want your legacy to be? I hope people know how important history is and that these buildings can serve a purpose now. Yeah. And it's nice to have some beauty. Yeah, and to all. have faith in that. Yeah. These old buildings, even if they are run down, can be renovated and be Absolutely. And people and are doing on. such great jobs with them now. They're seeing a purpose in saving some of the history we have here. Yeah, super important. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. It's nice been my pleasure. You.